Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Blow Gaming. You already know what time it is. You already know what time it is, man. The best how-to YouTuber in the world is back for, to make another video for you guys, guys. Today's I'm gonna make this video very quick and simple. I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to install spigot and craft bucket plugins to one Minecraft server. This is amazing because you can basically install any plugin you want into one server, which is amazing. All right, and this server is honestly the best. I've done a how-to video on how to create the server before, um, but I'm, this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to install both plugins, okay, into one server. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a like, subscribe as always for some more how-tos and some gaming videos, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's get this going. Guys, step one, you have to create a Minecraft MC folder, okay? So I call it a Minecraft server folder. So I call it a paper MC server. I created it on my desktop just so for it's easier for me to access it. I can open it at any time. And then there you go. So all you have to do for that is right click on your desktop, new folder, and then name it paper MC server. You can name it server, whatever you choose to name it. And guys, as always, I'm going to leave all the links in the description for you guys. All right. If you guys watch my high twos, how twos, I always leave all the links in the description. So if you guys have any issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll try to help you the best i can all right guys so the first 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 thing you need to do you need to download this okay i've actually just installed it myself you can see at the bottom left i still have it right here i just just installed this okay so what it is it's java 17 um se development kit okay now in my old videos, I told you guys to download the Java 16 SE development kit, but now there's a new version. It's the 17 one. So click on the first link in the description, guys. Now, you're going to see right here, Linux, Mac OS, and then Windows. If you're on a Linux, come here and download the right version for you. If you're on Mac, come here. Windows, come here. Go to Time64 installer and then download it right here. You're going to get this file. You're going to click on this file. It's going to open up and you're going to click install. Now, it might take a few seconds. It took me a minute or two. So install that to your computer. The reason why we need to do this, guys, is because the latest versions of Minecraft um, 1.17 and up, they all need Java SC development kit. OK, and this is for the Java edition for Minecraft. So if you don't have a Java 16 SC development kit or up, you will. This will not work. OK, so you need to make sure that like if you have a minecraft version that's under 1.17 like let's say 1.16.5 all you need is java 8 oracle but for this since it's minecraft 1.17 and up you need to download java 17 or java 16 but since this is the newest version i just went ahead and downloaded this one okay guys so again first link in the description come over to your windows if you're on a windows and i get i apologize i don't have a mac so i i can't be teaching you guys on how to do it on a mac but this is how you do it on a windows and then windows right here you just download this file install it and you're good to go now click on the second link in the description you're going to be brought to this page and this is what we need to be able to add two plugins into one server this is probably my favorite favorite server to create for me and my friends for fun all right for this server guys what you need to do is basically download this you either have waterfall or you have paper i'm going to be doing paper 1.17.1 honestly they're the exact same thing waterfall is more for older versions of minecraft and then paper is for the newest versions of minecraft okay what you're going to do is you're going to click on the latest built on this blue button right here okay for minecraft open 17.1 again if you want older versions come here and then check those out for this one we're going to download this one okay guys so what you're going to do is click on this blue button as you can see i've already downloaded it right here once you click on that you're going to download this file now what we need to do guys is grab this paper server and drag it to our to our folder okay so we just need to grab and drag now that we went ahead and dragged that into our server folder what we need to do next guys is i have a bucket plugin right here it's called world edit again i'm going to leave all this in the link in the description i'm just going to be using this bucket plugin for example and then we also have the multiverse core spigot plugin okay so i'm just going to be using these as an example they all are compatible for minecraft versions of 1.17 and this one as well okay now guys the last link in the description we're going to need to open this up and we're going to need to highlight this file right here if you guys watch my how to's you know exactly what this file is going to be okay so highlight this copy it and we're good to go 
All right, so open the your Minecraft server here, your Paper MC server. What you're gonna do is click on this. Don't double click it. Just click once, left click once, right click, rename. And what I'm gonna name this is server, okay? Now, never, never double click on this file. Never double click this to run the server. It is not the way you should be running your server. It will work, but it's, it's really not the way you should be doing it. You want a command console, okay? It's a lot easier to run the server. It's way better. So how do we do that? So you need to come in your server in your folder right here. You right click. Okay. And you're going to go to new and then you're going to add a text document. Okay. So now we have a text document. Double click this text document to open it up. And then what we're going to do is click control V. All right. Or you can right click and click paste. Now, what that does is we just copied this file right here. We copied this line, okay? And we added it into a text. What this file is, guys, is it's simply a run.bat, okay? What it does is it runs the server. It's a file we're creating to be able to run our server. So one thing I automatically do always is I come under here and I type pause. The reason for that is because once you type pause, if some were to happen, the server command console will not close right away. And you'll, you'll be like, what the hell? What's going on? that's why you need to type pause it's going to pause the command console and say java error blah 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 it's going to tell you what is wrong and then you can search that up and try to fix the issue and again if you don't know leave a comment down below and i'll try to help you out the second thing i like to do is add two gigabytes to the server which is you get rid of this this is one gigabyte so if you get rid of the 1024 and you add 2048 that's going to be two gigabyte now you have to make sure that both of these are two gigabytes okay they're the exact same number all right guys now don't devote too much space to this okay so let me give you an example here guys so if i go ahead and i open up a new file uh, a new folder here and i right click on this pc and i go to properties guys it's going to tell you all of your your pc properties and what as you can see right here i have eight gigabytes of installed ram right so it basically what's going to happen is this is going to take two gigabytes of my of my ram to be able to run the server i'm devoting more ram to the server now what that does is it causes less lag and it allows your player it, it just makes it more smooth now i have eight gigabytes do not add more than four i would not recommend you do more than half of what you have maybe add three to four max if you add too much guys it's going to devote too much ram to the server and that's not what you want it will not work okay it's going to be way too much and your your computer will not be able to handle that all right so i usually stick around the two three max four but max i usually go would be three gigabytes now if you want to know what that looks like in number format you'll have to search that up all right um but again, this is two gigabytes, all right, guys? And make sure that both of these say the exact number, okay? This line right here, guys, what it does is it's basically saying to you, okay, Joe, what file do you want me to run, right? It's very simple. We wanted to run this server file, right? We wanted to open this file and we want it to run, okay? So what happens here is now it's saying, it's basically looking for this file. We don't have that. All we have is server.jar right? Server.jar. This is a .jar file and it's called server, okay? And it's the same thing with this, server.jar. Do not get rid of this .jar. You always need to keep .jar because you're telling it that it's a jar file that it needs to run, okay? So mine is called server.jar. Yours is going to be, if you name it to server, just do this right here. That's why I always name it to server. It's just way easier. Next, you're going to go to file. You're going to go to save as, and then make sure that it's in your paper MC folder on your desktop. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and name this run.bat. Or you could name it start.bat. We'll just name it start.bat. I usually do run.bat, but it honestly does not matter. The last thing we need to do is come here to save as type. You're going to click on this and you're going to go to all files. And what that does is it then gets rid of a text document dot text file and it then converts it over to a run dot bat or start dot bat command file. So now you're going to click save. So now, as you can see in our folder, guys, we have, and, and in this video, guys, I'm not teaching you guys how to port forward. I'll leave two links in the description for you guys to click on that. If you guys want me to do an updated video on how to port forward, please leave, leave it down below and I'll go ahead and help you out. Now, what we have here, guys, is a start.bat and we have our um, server.jar. So what we're going to do now is double click on the start.bat. And as you can see, what's going to happen is that it's going to open up the server. And as you can see, it's starting to download the, the server files, okay? The, the cache, 
all of that stuff all right so we just have to let this load up it's going to start loading everything up and again since we typed pause if something were to happen here, it would not automatically close. It will tell you what's wrong. It might say Java error, RAM error. It'll tell you what's wrong, okay? And usually if there's something wrong, it's usually associated with Java or you either wrote something wrong in your start.bat. Maybe there's something that isn't matching up, okay? So you have to be careful. And that's why I go very in depth in the start.bat. It's very simple, all right? But again, just make sure you did everything right. All right. Perfect. So now it's asking us to accept the ULA. This will do this anytime you create a server, guys. So double click this ULA file it created and then get rid of false and then put true. And you're basically just accepting to the ULA. What you're going to do next is you're going to re-click on start. Now the server is going to go ahead and launch everything up. And as you can see, it says right here, Java 17. It read that we do have a Java 17. Okay. And again, if you do not have that Java 17, or java 16 development kit it will not run it will close immediately okay so make sure make sure you have this java 17 or 16 development kit and as you can see right here guys look at all the files that get created from the server you get spigot you get bucket you get all the plugins in one it's basically like creating a bucket server and a spigot server in one in one it's amazing and it's really really fast it's a really really good server this is a really really good server paper is amazing i really really recommend it as i'm building out my server right now online on apex hosting this is the server i use for its paper so i really recommend you guys do this it's really really cool it does take a little bit longer to load just because there's so much to load in here as you guys can see but pretty much the server is all done right so we're just gonna let this load up still it's loading the library so we're gonna have to wait now after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually install the plugins to our server okay now how do we do that okay well if we go over to right here right i told you that i had a bucket right here and then we also have our multiverse core okay and i'm not i'm not sure if this one's gonna work if your paper is 1.17.1, you need to download 1.17.1 plugins. Doesn't matter if it's for spigot or bucket, you need both the same versions. All the plugins are gonna need to be in 1.17.1. So what I'm gonna do for world is I'm just gonna click on file. And then right here, as you can see, it says 1.17.1. I'm just gonna go ahead and download this one file. This is the one I'm gonna go ahead and download. And we're going to come over to the multiverse and we'll do the same thing here. We'll try to go ahead and we'll just click download now. Boom. So now as you can see, we have our multiverse plugin. We have our world edit plugin and that's pretty much it. So now we're going to be able to drag these into our desktop. Let's see if this is done. Okay. It's still not done. So let's go ahead and we're just going to drag this to our desktop just for the time being. Okay, so now as you can see, just like that, the server is done, okay? As you can see, when you know it says done right here, that's how you know it's done, okay, guys? So what we're going to go ahead and do now is click stop. And then what that's going to do is going to stop the server. Boom. Okay, and look at all the files you get with the server. It's, it's amazing. I love it. So now that we have both our plugins right here, what we're going to do, this is our bucket plugin, world edit, and then this is our spigot plugin. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on plugins. We're going to highlight both of these and we're going to drag it into our plugins folder. And now, anytime you're going to add a plugin, you need to stop your server, okay? So if your server's running and you want to add a plugin, you need to stop it and then add your plugins like I just did and then rerun the server like this, okay? And now what's going to happen is gonna, it's going to detect detect all of the plugins you've just installed and then you're going to be able to you're going to be all good to go all right so i'm going to go ahead and hop into the game and i'll see you guys in just a few seconds all right guys so now that we are actually in the server what we're going to go ahead and do is ads or now with the, that we're in the minecraft what we're going to do is we're going to click add server we're going to type in zero now your friends will not be able to type this guys it's only going to be you you're going to be the one that's only able to type this okay for them for your friends to join you need to port forward your ipv4 address Again, I have two videos on this. If you want to go check them out, you just simply need to port forward your IP and then you go on Google, you say, what's my IP? The IP address that comes up there, that's the IP you're, you would send to your friends, okay? So for you to join locally on your own Wi-Fi, all you need to do is type zero and then join server. So 
as you can see now we are in the game let's go ahead and see if the 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 plugin should work let's do slash slash one as you can see that does work and let's do slash mv mv create there we go so th they both work guys which is amazing so now you literally are able to install plugin and um all right, now you're able to install bucket and spigot plugins at the same time into one server. Isn't that amazing, guys? And this server is absolutely great. So I really recommend you guys get this server. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you give this video a like. It really shows all your support, and it, it gets that YouTube algorithm up. So we really appreciate that, guys. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Any more video ideas, or if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I love to read your comments. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Adios, guys.